Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a pre-plan with me, setting up one of my planners, but I decided to go ahead and show you a planner that I've already set up for the first week of January. This is my um, catch-all. This is my Hobonichi Cousin Avec January through June, I believe. Yeah, I think it's June. Um, so I am going to be using this as my catch-all planner. And then my coil planner underneath is going to be like my memory planner. So that's what I'm going to be setting up today is my memory planner. But I want to go ahead and show you some of the things that I already did it. Did it. Ha ha ha. Some of the things that I have already done in my uh, catch-all planner, which is my Hobonichi cousin. So I've done a few things on the front inside pocket, just a few little things there, not a whole lot. Um, I tend not to put a lot of things in there. That's just me. I know some people put more. I don't. I put a few things on my front cover. This is what took me the longest because I could not make up my mind what things I wanted to put on there. Initially, I had way too many things on there. So I had to have a conversation with my planner peeps. And yeah, we made some decision. I'm like, yeah, 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 that's too much. So we just took some of that off. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really done anything to these pages as of yet. It's still kind of early. These are still looking like the original. Nothing done here. Nothing done here. These will be the birthdays, but that hasn't happened yet. It will. Let's move right along to something I have done. Here's my January monthly. This is a Shine Sticker Studio Kit. Um, her stick sticker kits don't come with the months on it. So this is my own nice and pretty glossy sticker there. But I do love the monthly. This is new for me. I haven't done a monthly spread in a Hobonichi Cousin in years. So I had to take my time. I couldn't really do this on camera because my head would have been all into the view. So I was like, yeah, no, no, no. Let's, let's just be safe with this first one and let's see how it's going to turn out. I think it did pretty good. You know, not bad at all. Not bad. This is my first weekly spread. This is also a Shine Sticker Studio Hobonichi Cousin Week spread. So once again, I did not do this on camera because I wasn't sure how well I was going to be able to do the things that I need to do. I have a few little bumbles and hiccups in there, but it's all right. I will survive. So will you. But I just wanted you to see uh, what I have done thus far uh, in my... Hobonichi Cousin. That's all I've done so far. I did get my my supplies from Type A, Type A for Alexa. So I got quite a few things from her. And then my cover. Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you about her. Yes, Miss Ma'am. This is from Happy Scrappy. Love this cover. This is gorgeous. This is my winter cover. So we'll be using this for quite a few months so you can always go check out these vendors on instagram i'll try to leave some of their information so my cover is from happy scrappy uh, my stickers are from a variety of shops uh, my spread is from who i said it was shine sticker studio and my dividers are from type a for alexa so here we go, moving right along. So I'm gonna be using this particular planner for creative. So that means using all the pretty stickers and things. And I'm also gonna use it for memory planning. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. I have not done anything in this planner, nothing, absolutely nothing. So I haven't done anything to the monthly, don't think I will be. I haven't done anything to this page, I'm not sure. So this is the only thing I've done so far is decided on what kit I'm going to be using for the first week. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get your refreshment if you haven't already done so, so we can go ahead and pre-plan together. Um, this is the only thing that I had decided to do so far was, since this is going to be a memory planner for me, I am still going to put some stickers in here. I'm not going to put a whole lot um, because I really want to have room to do my memory keeping. So some things I have decided to memory keep is uh, the books that I'm reading. So I'm, I don't have um, a planner for books that I'm reading. So in this particular planner, I'm going to be reflecting on the books that I've read as I'm reading the information. 
jotting down, you know, some key things, things of that nature. That's what I'm going to be doing in here. Any type of events that I go to, family, friends, you know, I'm a member, keep that information in here. So I'm not going to put a lot of stickers in here because this is probably going to have more pictures than anything. Um, I'm only putting these stickers on here just because I wanted to see how they were going to look. I wasn't sure. They're a little bit too short for this planner, but it is what it is. So we got some tweezers here. These are from Perfect Prints Co. I got me a little short ruler here as well. This is a older kit. It is very much an older kit from DEK Designs. So I'll just go through this right quick so you can get an idea of what the pages are looking like. I do know I'm not gonna use all these, not, not even close. I think I counted and there was, um, I think 11 pages, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but there's no way I'm gonna use up all these pages um, for this spread. It's, it's not even gonna happen because I already know I have some events kind of planned for the first week. And plus I said, I'm gonna be writing down my uh my kind of like my reading thoughts about the book that i'm currently reading so yeah i already know i'm not going to be using this entire um kit so we're just going to be using a little bit of it and since i already have a new year's kit already in here i'll probably just let this be um potentially part of my dailies that's going to be in this particular planner we shall see. We shall see. To be continued. I didn't show you the dailies because I haven't done anything to it. It looks exactly the same way that it was when I purchased it. It has absolutely nothing on it. Zero. Oh, so we're going to go ahead and put in a few of the full boxes. I definitely want to incorporate some of these girls. I already thought about that. I could have used these days of the week, but like I said, I already know I'm not going to be using a lot of this kit. I'm really just doing it because I wanted to have some type of spread completed in this particular planner for the first week so that's really what my goal was is to put a few things down so i know i want to put a couple of girls i know i want to put a little bit of this washi and i want to put some of these boxes and some of these glitter headers so the rest of this probably is not going to get used nope 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 um this particular planner i purchased i'm pretty sure i got it at Target, maybe some other store. No, I think it was Target. Um, it wasn't a last minute decision, but I do know I did not have to pay for shipping because I bought it from the store. So we're, we're having a moment here with this. Wow. Like, really? That's, that's what we're doing here? We fighting already? It's the first. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, so yes, so um, I did not order this from the website. I do believe I purchased it in store. I don't know if it was Barnes & Noble, but I think it was Target. I think it was Target is where I purchased it from. I'm pretty sure I want to say final answer, purchased at Target. That's what I want to say. So we shall see, um, you know, if you go back and research it, if you want to. Some stores do have um, EC products. It's probably a rare find at this point. You know, it's already, you know, way, way past the point of trying to find an in-store EC planner. Not saying that you can't. I do know you can go on some of these websites and you'll be surprised that some stores, meaning you can physically go and walk into the store and find some EC products. Now, what you're going to find, mm, questionable. Uh, is it going to be exactly what you're looking for? Mm, once again, questionable. But you could probably find something. If you're trying to find uh, a planner, you, you're finally down to the end of the year, you know, and you're like, just can't make up your mind on what you want to do. Mm, you know, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. That that's That's how I see it. So, like I said, you probably could find um, an EC planner in store somewhere. Where? Don't don't even know for sure. I would say Google it, look it up, 
make sure make sure you found it before you uh take the drive unless you're just in the mood to take a drive you know if that's what your um if that's what your thoughts are telling you girl go ahead and take this drive feel free uh i can tell you that this is an old kit because i had to fix a date on this particular sticker right here but you know what i said it is what it is it's gonna get used that's that's what i know it's going to get used it is going to be utilized that's that's what i know so in this particular spread i am just putting ooh, i am just putting some stickers down in various locations i'm pretty sure i've mentioned before that i don't always have a rhyme to my reason i just kind of put it where i'm feeling it pretty much pretty much if i'm feeling it over there i'm gonna put it over there so i'm trying to cover the corner with this sticker and the problem is it's like my hand is not letting that happen so here let's let's try it this way let's see if we can get it to work this way. Uh-oh, somebody honking their horn. Mm-mm. They're probably trying to say, move over. Oh, no, they're probably saying, Happy New Year. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got those two. Um, then we're going to put two over here. And like I said, this is really for memory keeping. So I'm going to be doing, you know, writing, journaling in this particular book for the 24 so not a ton of stickers well we gotta put a few in you know we can't we can't leave her with like nothing you know that's just mm -mm. that's not gonna work no 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 we gotta put we gotta put some stickers somewhere in some places because that's how we gotta do it so i think this turned out better for me turning it to the side so i can kind of see where the line is, it just turned out to be a little bit better this way, and it's gonna be as the best as this can be. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see how we did there. I think we did pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do we wanna put any other stickers? Yes, we can at least put a few more headers. Um, just a few. Like I said, we're not putting a ton of stickers in this particular one. But, you know, it is what it is. So we can, we're going to put one more just so we can have a nice even thing going on here. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's put us a girl or two down. Let's see. We can put, we can put her. Yes, we can put her. We're going to go down a little bit further. No, we're going to go up a little bit higher just because we'll put her right there. And yeah, I, I think we uh, we got we got what we wanted. We got a little here, a little there. We want this here. We want this here. I think we're going to put her here. She looked a little bit better over there. Boom. There we go. As I told you before, we wasn't going to put a lot of stickers down because I'm going to be using this for journaling i might put in a little bit more touches here and there but for the most part it is what it is thank you for watching my video please make sure you give me a thumbs up and until next time bye bye